what is going on guys it is your boy Sissel here bring us a cool little photoshop tutorial here today so today i'm bringing you guys a cool like uh 2d really clean um like contour line kind of i don't know what i had in mind though was kind of like esports designs if you ever like saw like an esports twitter like a professional team or whatever like they have these really cool very simple but eye-catching like clean um, like symmetrical kind of designs, right? You kind of see something like this, or like something on both sides. So I went ahead, took my own take on it, and basically it was very, very simple. I didn't use anything besides like pen tool and color. That's literally it. I only, I only use pen tool. It's the only tool being used is the pen tool, and most likely probably the marquee tool, just to delete things on the right or left sides or whatever. So pretty much, if you don't know already, I'm in, I'm not in like a like a perfect dimension. I'm in my own like dimension of like a banner just to demonstrate. But for whatever reason, if you guys do not know how to use rulers, um, if you're in whatever freaking width or height or whatever, this is just for show and tell or whatever, right? Um, control R to bring up the rulers, or you can go to view ruler. And pretty much you're gonna have to do this just so you guys know where the middle of your banner design is and actually everything comes out really perfect and symmetrical. So you guys gotta make sure when you drag your rulers here, make sure you like kind of guess where the middle is. And then all of a sudden when you kind of guess and you kind of like hover around a couple times, you'll see that your ruler snaps. And that is now the middle of your dimensions for the actual document that you're in, just like so. And I can just do the same exact thing on the left, uh, the right, right, and then etc. The uh, the horizontal like line here, and then the bottom line as well, just like that. So if you guys know like don't know how to actually set up rulers, make sure you guys do that. Very very simple, and it'll make your life like a hell of a lot easier if you guys mess up and uh, you don't know where the middle is. So. Here we go, right? Two likes on the video equals a single down below. Do not forget, uh, most likely you're gonna get the, uh, the uh, PSD of this video here, but um, just know that this is not actually a Twitter header or a YouTube banner you know, template, so you can't really just use it. Um, it's just more of like a demonstration of like how I actually did it in my like example that I took time in before the actual tutorial. So, all right, um, I do have my color palette here, so I will show you guys the exact same colors I used for my actual design. And we're just gonna start off with a nice little black background. And also, my rulers up with control H you can also hide your rules control H and uh, unhide them with control H as well so I'll make a new layer of my black background here and we're gonna go ahead and start with the pen tool and it's gonna be very very simple so pretty much I'm gonna like select above like maybe like 25% of the way of like halfway of this little area right here so like somewhere around here right like I don't know whatever Twitter header dimension you're in uh, even if you're in Twitter header dimension just a little above halfway of the uh, actual banner design and we're gonna go ahead and let me click like where the middle is here and I'm gonna click and drag so that way you can get these little two extended points out. And pretty much I'm gonna hold control and bring them out just a little bit. Like that is perfect. And then pretty much when you have this set, you just can just click all the way around the banner, right? And then connect it over here. Oops. Connect it over here. And you can just basically right click, fill path, and we're gonna fill this in with this offset gray kind of like thing going on here. It's like light gray, I'll call it. Um, and the hex code for this is B7B7B7. We're gonna press okay. And we're gonna go ahead and just uh, delete the path, uh, un unhide the rules. You can guys can see what kind of, like what kind of a curve I have going on here. Nothing crazy, dramatic. It's just a really nice little simple curve, and it's gonna set us off for a really nice little successful banner design. Um, just keep in mind that only space you're gonna have to actually design in, besides like you know what you're gonna be doing with these little simple contour lines kind of going on here. Um, you're just gonna have this much space right on both sides. We're gonna focus on one side right now, just because it's gonna be symmetrical, and no matter what, as long as you uh, like keep everything in your halfway mark. When you flip it over, it'll be perfect. So we're gonna call this uh, middle layer, right? We're gonna call this the middle layer and we're gonna make another new layer and we're gonna make sure it's uh, above the middle layer actually. And we're gonna bring our rulers back and we're just gonna make a nice little, uh, something like this, right? Something on the left-hand side. So pretty much I'm gonna select over here and I'm gonna do something like, hmm, I'll go up a little bit more. Something like that is pretty good. I'm looking at this right here, right? This little triangle on the left-hand side. So I'll connect this all the way around. And we're gonna fill this in with the blue that I'm gonna be using. Uh, whatever color you're gonna be using, it doesn't really actually matter. Um, just, just, I'm just using the same colors as I used before. So I'm using 203545, this little nice little navy blue, like a nice dark navy blue. Press okay. And pretty much now we leave ourselves with one more thing. We'll just call this the corner. And for the uh, the last layer, we're gonna make a new layer, but we're gonna drag it below the middle uh, the middle layer, which is the first layer we made, right? So we're just gonna call this bottom, and this is gonna be our gray layer, right? So I'm gonna take my pen tool, click about halfway, and then maybe click like around here, and then just take this little anchor point here, and kind of just make it do something like that. Perfect. 
right? And this is going to be behind everything, right? So we're just looking at this only being be able to like be shown as the gray area that we're going to have, right? So I don't know. You can make the angle whatever the heck you guys want and fill this in with the color gray, right? So this is where you can get like as creative as you guys really want. Um, like you can do whatever, like whatever the heck you guys want. Does it look good by the way? Like, I don't know if I, this like curve is good enough in my opinion. It looks very like odd. Let me see. Maybe I want something a little bit better. I don't know, something like that. Yes, I want just a little bit. Like, I don't know, it was ticking me off. Anyway, right? So pretty much you can do whatever the heck you guys want. Like I just did like a very simple, like, you know, three kind of stroke things going on here. What you can do is you can do like, you know, click over here and do like a, you know, an extra. You can do you can do as much extra as you want. You know what I mean? It's all up to you. Like whatever the heck you guys want to do and then have that be like your base and then like, I don't know, do something like above going on, like above here or whatever. Whatever the heck you guys want to do. But I just made my very simple and looks good this way, in my opinion. So, all right, with these layers here, we're going to actually make a simple little highlights on them. So I'm going to take my middle layer. I'm going to click on my middle layer, make a new layer. That way uh, it's going to be above my middle layer here. And then with my new layer that I selected, um, we're going to select it, excuse me, and we're going to press uh, create clipping mask. Right click, create clipping mask. And this is going to be a highlight. I put height to light. Right. Oh, God. All right, so this is going to be a highlight right for the middle layer here. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm taking my pen tool again, and we're going to click like halfway point where we're looking, we're looking right here, right? We're looking at this area right here. So pretty much I'm going to click like my, around the halfway point. And I'm just going to find myself selecting and thinking where do I want the highlight at. And I think here, like right here, right, would be the highlight, which is going to be like a lighter gray. Because I'm going to put it on a, uh, like a white fill, and I'm going to put it on overlay. So pretty much I'm going to just click all the way around. And since it is on um, a click mask, no matter what, we're going to fill this in. But it's only going to be showing on this uh, layer right here. That's what a click mask is for. So when I fill the color in with a white, right, press OK. Uh, delete the path, as you can see. Puts the white layer in here. Changes from normal to overlay and puts your opacity about at 35%, and you're good to go. Now it looks like a it looks like a very cool clean bevel, right? That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm going for. And I'm gonna repeat this process for the corner, right? This little corner, uh, corner like blue over here area. This will be a highlight too, and we're gonna go ahead and just do something like that, kind of like splitting it in half almost. Really, is what I'm doing, and I'll connect it. On the other side, fill it in with white, drop down, uh, press OK, delete the path, and then go to normal to overlay, opacity, 35%. There we go. So pretty much you're basically done with that part, right? It's very, very simple and easy. And we focus on the left-hand side. So what we can do is just hold shift, click every little layer we just did, and then control G to mer uh, merge these things into a group. And we're going to go ahead and just call this left, right? And what we can do now is, oops, whatever, it doesn't matter. And it does for me. Anyway, right? So just so you guys know, if I press Control T on this group, right, it's gonna show a little bit more above half, right? So this is like this is everything in the group, so everything extends onto this point. We want to make sure that this right here, this little line right here, is actually right here, right? But the only reason why it's doing that is because maybe something like a clipping mask layer that we have, maybe like over here, which I believe that's what it is, right? Yep, is not like uh, centered, right? Because we just, I just like I said, I went all the way around just to like fill this little white spot in. So pretty much. I'm gonna use a rectangle marquee tool, and this is whatever if you have any case of doing this. So it doesn't really matter if you do not or do just do it just in case, so you know. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna run through every layer and just press delete on your keyboard with this rectangle uh, tool only on the right hand side, just like so. And that way, when I go ahead and press Control T again to free transform, you can now see that it stops perfectly in the middle, and we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and press Control uh, J to merge uh, to make a duplicate of this group. We're gonna call this right. Go ahead, press Control T, right click, flip horizontal, and this way the red line will indicate when this line hits this little middle, middle line here that it's actually lined up perfectly. Um, there it is. It popped up right there. All right, so cool. All right, press OK, Control H, and then for some reason, uh oh, see, I made a mistake when I probably cut my little square. Probably wasn't paying attention. It's OK. It's not bad. I don't know why I did that then. I'll just delete it on one layer that I know it's actually messed up on. So anyway, go ahead, duplicate it. I just want to make sure I cut it right, right? Act press control T, right click, uh, flip horizontal, and we'll go ahead and make sure this is on the red line. 
There we go. And there we go. Now it's no longer in this space. It was like a little simple cutting issue. You'll run into that. Why not? Right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually take the bottom of like each of the, the left and right out. Right? So I'm going to take this out and also set us up for something else in a second. So I'm just going to take this out of the group. So we're going to have our two bottoms here. And we're just going to drag them both to the bottom of the left and right. Uh, like these little contour things. So basically, these two things are flying on its own in the background. Right? It's going to set us up for doing something like this. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and pen tool basically this out right here. I'm going to pen tool this out. Um, not really pen tool it out, but I'm going to try and mock this little uh, curve that we have going on here, right? This little pointed, like, you know, peak or whatever going on here. I'm going to try and mock this by just, like, pen tooling it out simply, right? As close as I can, right, for now. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, like, I don't know, just, like, come out a little further down so that we can get a little more space, right? We just want space to do what we're going to do. We're going to fill this in with a color of our choice, which is probably going to be the same exact color as you had over here. So I'm going to do that. And what I can do now is I can drag this down, but since it's actually behind this layer, but also still in front of the bottom layer, so if you took it out, it's going to look like something like this, right? It's going to look like you're actually doing like a little cool little design thing going on here. And what you can do is I can just duplicate this again by holding Alt and Shift and dragging it down. You can't see, but I did actually make a duplicate and moved it down here. I'll just change the color to white really quick, right? And so I can just put this blend mode on overlay and then kind of like, you know, fix it a little bit if I want to and maybe like 35%, right? And then for this layer, this is just a, uh, we'll just call this one and two, right? This is that first layer that we did. And I'll just do something like that, kind of like make, you know, kind of like space it out, kind of correct or whatever. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just merge these two, I at least put these little two bottom uh, layers in a group together. So Control G, right, again, or right click merge the group. And we're just gonna call this bottom. So that way our new, like our new gray area is just on uh, its own little group now. So make a new layer above that, clippy mask it, and we'll go ahead and just pen tool out like something like this. I don't know, right? Make sure it's on this middle line here. And we'll go ahead and just put this on white. Right click fill, make it white. Boom, right there, press OK. Delete the path. We'll go ahead and just press Alt and Shift to make a duplicate. Control T to free transform. Flip it horizontal. Make sure this is on the uh, the little red line here to make sure it's on the, uh, at least the middle of this. Uh, it's off a little bit on that, but I fixed it there. So there we go. So pretty much now I can take these two groups, merge them together, and we're just gonna call this highlight uh, highlight three, right? Put this on uh, blend mode overlay, and this little pass is about thirty five or so. And there we go. Now we got something like right there. And kind of like mocks what I had going on for the actual example here, right? Uh, right here, right? It's just a little bit more darker. If you guys want actually this dark tone that I have here that makes it like kind of like complete the exact like the banner design, um, what I did was I went ahead and basically I can change my color now from this black to this blue, right? Color overlay, change to this blue now, right? So now we have like a nice cool like you would probably like mock like if you like I said it kind of reminds me of esports, right? And so you kind of like mock the colors of the actual logo or your logo or whatever in your case or your maybe a color scheme that you want to complete like your your channel around. Um, like mine is sometimes orange, but now it's like green. It's like, what, it's, now it's freaking multiple colors. I don't know. Regardless, anyway, like try to like mock the colors of the logo around the banner. If you're doing this for some kind of organization or for yourself and you have like colors in your uh, in your logo, kind of like mock those colors around going on here. But anyway, what I did was. I went ahead and we're gonna, like I just imagine this is blue, right? Make a new layer above this background layer. This is the background layer, right? Make a new layer above this blue and I'm gonna use a brush and we're gonna use like a nice little offset white brush. So I'm just gonna use uh, D O D O D O or D zero, D zero, D zero and offset like it's kind of, it's basically a gray, right? And we're just gonna click one nice time in the middle here and put this on overlay. And we're just gonna go ahead and lower the opacity down a bit. So maybe about 50%, why not? And we're just going to call this background highlight, just so you guys know. I know I spelt it. All right. I know it's going to tilt you guys, so there we go. All right. So there we go, right? I'm going to do another background highlight. Uh, it's not really a background highlight. It's more just like a, you know, kind of like highlight, you know, kind of splashes of this white or this gray here. And do it like around here or so and like around here. Put them both on overlay, right? So it's on overlay now. And basically now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and just uh, go to this little uh, adjustment tab right here. And I'm gonna do brightness and contrast, and we're gonna go ahead and lower the brightness and then up the contrast. 
and it's gonna give us this really dope color and where we put the light effect it's gonna actually bring out the blue a little bit more and negative 20 is pretty good probably and then contrast 85 is pretty high but you know it works and it makes that really cool deep blue and that's who I'm looking for in the design take your logo Mine's a plain color, so it's whack, right? But I'll maybe I'll find a color that fits me. I've been really hovering around green and orange, though, so. Right? Take your logo now. Select your color of choice. I'm just going to put it on white because I just love that kind of color scheme. And there you guys go. Basically, you're finished with your really dope, uh, just like cool, symmetrical kind of design. Uh, Esports kind of feel as well. I can, if I want to, maybe like put like a nice little uh, solid white brush on the hit on the top. I don't know if it'll look good. I don't know, you can be the judge. Maybe like do something like that, lower the opacity down to like 45, and then maybe add another brightness and contrast to kind of like, you know, help it out. I don't know, you guys can be the judge. This is basically like the part where I'm like, all right, it's up to you guys to actually finish it and figure out, you know, figure things out. If it was up to me, you know, this is not <coughs> promoting my new brush pack update. We well, use some of the new, uh, new stocks that are coming out in the brush pack update, and I'm gonna use one of my favorite ones right now, not this one. So if you guys do not have my brush pack, check the description down below right now. It's for five bucks and it gets updates regularly. And uh, as you can see, I'm looking at my new updates right now. And this freaking brush is dank as hell, right? Nice cool little like a kind of like a particle spread brush. Put that on overlay, and you can just have fun with this kind of stuff, right? Now, if I wanted to, I can put this on filter, blur, like motion blur, and I kind of like put motion blur things going on here. So we got, I don't know, give it like a little clean sleet. Uh, sleek like texture almost so if you guys yeah if you guys want to purchase that it'll be in the description down below um thank you guys so much for freaking watching do, forget, uh, do not forget to leave a like on the video do not forget to check out my twitter follow me on twitter at sysohq for any like kind of like cool updates or if you want to talk to me and just answer make me answer some questions i don't freaking know uh check out my self by selfie.com slash sysohq for any premiums and packs as well as five bucks also check out my everything pack one purchase of 30 uh 30 dollars and you get everything into my store that you see currently and any products that come out will be emailed to you for free. Very simple, kind of like cool little like thing for me to like, you know, if you guys ever want to support me and you also want really cool like pre-mades and, you know, packs and uh, brush packs, pattern packs, all that kind of stuff. I do come up with that kind of stuff on my selfie.com. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, what are we at right now? We're at, we are at the subscription of 55641. So thank you guys so freaking much. Talk to you guys later, and think, uh, the comments on my new car video were kind of awkward. Like, how the hell do some of you guys not know that I'm half black, half Puerto Rican by now? Like, huh? Um, but yeah, regardless, the comments were freaking funny to, like, like read and all that cool stuff. Thank you guys for sorting, uh, for, like, what do you guys, how would you say it? Thank you guys for, uh, confirming that, hmm. Thank you guys for liking my choice. Like, you guys were, like, you know, agreed with my kind of taste of my car. So, it was pretty awesome that you guys did that. So, anyway, talk to you guys later. So, let's switch you out. Peace. That was mad weird.